So where's the best place to watch a Starship launch? I get asked that question all the time and I wanted to compare two options for you today. For those of us who were able to make the pilgrimage down to South Padre Island, we just witnessed the third launch of Starship, which completed some pivotal milestones for SpaceX. It was also my third time enjoying the view from Margaritaville, a newly renovated resort on South Padre Island. I'm very grateful to be able to stream from the roof alongside NASA, NASA Spaceflight, and this time I I also benefited from having a working Starlink to power my stream, which helped over 13,000 of you watching my coverage with Joe Tagmeyer, people watching from around the globe to take in the moment. But some of my fans also decided to watch the big launch from the balcony of Margaritaville, which offers a spectacular view just about six miles from the pad. I received some feedback from Danielle Souza, who also brought her daughter Aria to take in this historic moment. Danielle also gave me permission to share these pictures and videos of her daughter, which is not the first video that I've seen of little kids getting so excited by rocket launches. Here's what Danielle had to say about her stay. Quote, our journey to watch the Starship Flight Test 3 was a thrilling adventure, driving our Tesla Model 3 performance with FSD. Opting for a road trip with my daughter allowed us to share unforgettable moments together from Dallas to Austin to pick up Gail and heading to South Padre Island for the first time. I chose Margaritaville based on your recommendation from your video of the Starship Test Flight 2. It turned out to be perfect, especially for inspiring my daughter. From our balcony at Margaritaville with its stunning view and directly to the launch pad, it was the ideal spot. With a toddler, it would have been challenging to arrive early at the beach, making the balcony an excellent choice. Margaritaville's atmosphere design and convenient amenities were perfect. The path to the beach and the poolside experience made for a fantastic time for my four-year-old daughter. We watched the launch from the balcony of our room, and after the launch, we enjoyed a great breakfast while catching the SpaceX Live stream. We spent the rest of the day at the beach and pool with my daughter, adding to the excitement of the day. The hotel's inviting lobby became a gathering place for friends like Penny, where we shared stories and excitement about the launch. Throughout our stay, the hotel staff impressed us with their warmth and hospitality, making every moment so enjoyable. With the kid, it was convenient. We loved Loved our time there. Margaritaville exceeded our expectations, leaving us eager to return. The unforgettable experience we had deserves a thumbs up to the hotel for providing the perfect blend of convenience, luxury, and warmth, including the added bonus of a Tesla charging station. We're already looking forward to our next visit. So I agree, the Tesla charging station comes in the clutch and no, Danielle is not sponsored by Margaritaville. She just really enjoyed her stay. And so I really encourage you to consider maybe staying at a hotel on the island because you're gonna have a great view. I finally made it to Margaritaville and you guys look at my freaking view. Ah, full stack, holy shit. I plan to stream again from Margaritaville for the fourth launch, which could be as soon as next month. So I wanted to make this video because again, I get this question all the time where the best place to watch the launch is. So I believe it's ultimately split between two spots, Isla Blanca Park, which is the most popular gathering spot along the water and choosing a hotel with an unobstructed view like Margaritaville. While the park will bring a sense of community and energy, it also doesn't have any service to stream, so it's not great for a creator like myself. And the traffic getting out of the park afterward is a nightmare. I tried that during the first attempt before uh, it scrubbed and became 420, and it took like three hours to get out of the park, so not cool. <laughs> The hotel option is nice because you are already stationed where you are staying, which apparently can be easier if you have a child with you. And there's a better chance for service because I know you want to share your POV from the launch after. I hope this brief guide helps inform you for future launches. And thank you to Danielle for your review. And of course, thank you to Margaritaville for collaborating with me and giving me the opportunity once again to be on the roof. The first time Starship launched, the Musk family was also on the roof of Margaritaville. So I think that says a lot that they chose that to be their location to watch the launch. And of course you have great viewing spots from the balconies. Just make sure to request a room that faces the 
launch pad. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, please make sure to subscribe to Ellie in Space so you won't miss any future videos, especially about Starship, since that is the topic that I have the most passion for covering. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video or maybe down at Starbase. If you guys enjoyed this video and all of my Starship coverage, please subscribe to Ellie in Space. It's completely free and that way you won't miss any future videos. If you want to take it a step further, please consider signing up for my Patreon. YouTube revenue can be very unpredictable and hit or miss. And you guys on my Patreon are why I'm able to take these trips and help me experience the life that I'm very thankful to live down here at Starbase and many of the other places that I've gone to report for the channel and the places that I'll be going in the future.